Batman Rover's boss on the brink of being sacked. What is next for the boss? Is he going to survive in the Premier League? Will Blackman Rowers be in the Premier League next year? Is the turnaround on? What's up guys? It is a well strong in DSG and welcome back to... Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Blackman Rovers, Karimo. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you drop the video a like. And let me know in the comments. Do you think I'm going to get sacked? We are rolling in the bottom. We're in the pit of the Premier League at the moment. We're in the table, but we're at the bottom. We, You know the crumbs at the bottom of the table? And you got all the dust at the bottom of the table? That's where Blackman Rovers are right now. But are we going to turn it around? Let me know in the comments below. You can judge now or you can judge after the episode. Let me know also. Tell me in the comments below, what? Who are you managing in your career mode? It's been interesting to find out, and uh, it'll be happy days. And anyway, we have... No, actually, don't tell me that. You can if you want. Tell me if you want. But tell me your biggest win in career mode, right? Mine, at the moment, is only 5-1. And that was last season, and I was against... Uh, I don't understand who that was. I think it was like an over league team or something like that. But let me know in the comments below your biggest win in Karimo. And we get off to a flyer start here. 25 minutes in and a goal uh, save from Chesney from Goodwilly. we got Goodwilly and Rose playing together up front now. Hopefully the linkage can come together because we lost every single game last episode. And we're not looking good whatsoever. The ball goes over the Rose and it's a great save from our, uh, Chesney again. Arsenal staying in the game with Chesney and we are completely getting chances. But in the second half now... Ball goes to Wayne and Silver. Ball comes into Ozil, but it's good defending from us. And we do end up clearing the ball. And Arsenal with a corner now. 64 minutes in. Ball comes in. It's clear. Giroud on the ball. Gives the ball to Wayne and Silver. And he hits the post. And we clear it. And then they start putting up the ante a little bit more. We got a post match interview as well. Very soon we got Bring Douglas on. This is tactical changing. Good really. Roas. Gardner going off. Here we go now. Byram to Rhodes. Rhodes on the ball now, puts the ball down to Byram, and here we go, we're going to whip the ball into Douglas, the substitute comes on within seconds, seconds ladies and gentlemen, off coming on, does end up scoring probably the quickest goal I have ever scored on FIFA with a new player, bam, and we're 1-0 up against Arsenal, this is going to be an absolutely a massive result if we do end up beating them, so we're 1-0 up, 82 minutes gone, what have we got to do, we just got to wait it out, a couple of minutes left, but the ball drops away and Silver in the 87th minute, and we couldn't hold them off. It was a very disappointing call. I was like, no, no, we need a win. We need the win, and if we beat Arsenal, a team like Arsenal, it's a massive, massive win. But the ball just curves away from the goalkeeper. Forster didn't really have a chance. Defender should have been better. That's an open shot. There was no one there, and we do end up drawing that game 1-1. It's a good result, but... We have got a post-match interview with the manager. There we are. Where are we to? We're not even on the radar. There we are, 19th. So, boss, are you going to stay in the Premier League or what? And what about that result against Arsenal? Pretty good yes, result. Uh, yeah, of course. We can, uh, of course we're going to be safe. We're going to be in the Premier League next year. Uh, that's um, our main priority. We talked about it last year. Um, uh, no, sorry. We talked about it at the start of the season, saying that we will be in the Premier League. That's our main objective. Um, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's obviously long. It's a tough road in the Premier League, and uh, obviously we're we're coming back into the Premier League with not the same side we had when we got relegated. Um, but it's going to be, um, as I said, a long journey, and uh, you can't really make judgments just yet because if we win a game now, we're back in the mixer. It's uh, only it's that little bit of form, like the result against Arsenal, the nil-nil draw, the one-one even. We go one up and we get unfortunate we can see straight after. But it's those type of results which are big, big results. And like we lost one at the Man United in the Cup, which is a big uh, downfall because we are the Cup holders. Um, but we uh, will improve and uh, it's going to be a long journey ahead. It is going to be a long journey ahead. So he does think, ladies and gentlemen, that Blackburn Rovers will stay in the Premier League next season. And this game now against Everton is going to be a big one for it. Good William Rose sign again. R Rashina in the attacking midfield position. If he does stay in the Premier League next season, he is going to have a big budget. Around 12 million, I think it is. 
Um, I can't remember, I'm kind of working out from where I've actually played career mode in the past and uh, depending on where you finish, if you ex exceed your position, which doesn't look like it at the moment, obviously avoid relegation, we could get a decent amount of money, a few players sold, you never know. Um, but anyway, we got Everton now in this game and we started off very, very good and uh, we controlled the game for the first 30 minutes or so and then the ball drops to good Willie and dodgy defending, Rose comes to, he's going to hit it, he hits it, it's blocked. We go for another shot with Marshall, it's blocked. We go for another shot, it's blocked. And Good really gets the ball off and it's just wide of the post. So guys, make sure you drop the video a like as well in the comments below. And don't forget to tell me your biggest winning career mode. And we're going to go for a win here. Bernardi on the ball. He's just going to whip it into Rashina's head. It drops a Gardner. The floppiest shot ever. I couldn't believe it went in. It dropped to his foot on the volley. Is that going to be your goal of the week? Find out this Sunday what a finish on Gardner, absolutely <laughs> amazing finish, but it was sloppy, like I don't know how it goes in, like it wasn't a perfect connection if you know what I mean, but it still, it just goes in, I'm like, oh yeah bitches, that is a bam, that's a good result, that's a good result, good uh, goal even, he hits it, Gardner is probably one of the best long shots, he is probably my favourite player at the moment, all round great defender, um, all round uh, good passer, shooter, he's in one of the best midfielders in the game, gone again, he goes for the another 25 yard shot, and we go 2-0 at bottom right hand corner, we're 2-0 at with a two long shots, it's an easy goal at the end of the day, finding out how his weakness, getting that ball across the floor, bouncing just a tad, Sorry, the ball's dropping just a tad after the kick, uh, during the keeper, uh, as he goes to save it. Oh my god, I couldn't get my words out then, so I'm more like you said nothing. And it's a magnificent celebration. Then we get another chance here. Good Willie now, 60 minutes in. What's he going to do with it? He whips the ball into Marsh. It's a great head up. It's a magnificent save from Howard. Keeping Everton in the game now. 67 minutes in. Everton finally get a chance. Gibson on the ball goes to a shot. It's hits the post. We got uh, Kennedy just recovers, but John is on it like a car bonnet. And he does see the ball out, and it goes for a goal kick. Oh, there's a yellow card for Rashina. Now we've got Bernardi on the ball, our free agent we actually bought. And here we go, he's going to whip the ball into Goodwillie's head. It's 3-0, a result we need. Three goals within... <sighs> what a game. I can't believe we've done. We finally bagged ourselves a couple of goals and exactly what we need. Yes, Blackburn. And as I say, Good Willie is so overpowered headering it heading. It's unbelievable, Jeff. And here it is. We go 3-0 up. That is game, set, and match by the lots of things, but everyone wanna put a bit of an effort in with McCarthy on the ball. McCarthy gives the ball to Baines. Baines back to McCarthy. Lovely play, and it's just wide of the post. And the final whistle blows. And we win 3-0. Gardner with man of the match with a 9.1 rate in playing in our CDN role. The 4-1-2-1-2 formation seems to be working for us. A big result, as the boss said, against uh, Everton. It praises the boys. And here we go. We're 10 points. We're closing down the mixer. It's getting close. We've only got three wins. Hopefully we can bag ourselves another win today against North City. But we are away. North City playing pretty well in the Premier League at the moment. So, that's a very, very good result. And obviously, the momentum is going to be on our side going into this game. They're going with the 4-1-2 and 4-4-1-1. Hooper playing the centre forward roll. And we are sticking with the four. The exact same team that went out against Everton. And why wouldn't you? Yeah, it's a, a brilliant side. If you can keep the side the same, and we got a chance here. It comes off the post ball, drops again to Rashina, and it's straightening the goalkeeper's hands of Ben, former Blackburn Rovers player. Byram now on the ball. Tries to get it in, but it just goes wide of the post. And we're 24 minutes in now. Um, we have got Norwich on the ball, puts a ball off the Vance of Wal Walswinkle. And he, this is a penalty by the lots of things. God damn, you'll be able to see it in some replay in just a moment. He does end up getting a yellow card as well. Do you think he does get a yellow card? No, he doesn't. Nothing's actually given. But anyway, look at this. In some replay, he goes for the tackle. But unfortunately, the ball just drops behind him. And he does end up giving away the penalty. And uh, Walswinkle. I can't. <laughs> Walswinkle. It's such like a, 
load to get up in your mouth at this one site. And he does say I'm scoring the penalty, but 34 minutes in, we got John on the ball. So Bernardi, Bernardi to Goodwillie. Goodwillie now, he's going to go down the, charging down his right hand side. He's going to go for the cross, and he gives it to Bernardi, purring up to make it 1 1. Great play. Goodwillie doesn't want to celebrate, he's just standing here like, yes, I did my job. Why do you want to celebrate? You don't see a postman celebrating every time he posts a letter. I've ripped that off from somewhere and I'm not too sure where. I think Balotelli may have said it. But Goodwillie assisting Bernardi with his first goal in the Premier League. Rose now over the top to Goodwillie. Can we make it 2-1 in within minutes? And it's not. And it's still 1-1 just into the second half now. 50 minutes gone. 60 minutes gone. Rhodes on the ball. Rhodes again. Goes for the shot. It's blocked. And it goes over the bar. And we're 61 minutes in now. And by the looks of things, it doesn't look like we're going to get a goal at the moment. But get, they're on the ball. Oh, this is a perfect run by the looks of things from Paul Swinkle. But it's a good save from Forster. But he does a dodgy throw out. Goes to the opponent. And what's happening here? I have no idea. Just dodgy defending all round goalkeeper to centre backs to left backs to right backs. And even to Gardner who had a magnificent game last episode, uh, last game. And we can see 2-1. We get a chance with Marshall. And it's just inches, inches wide of that post. And we're still 2-1 down. And that is the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we do end up losing that 2-1. That's a massive, massive setback with a draw against Arsenal. 3-0 victory against Everton. And that is the end of this episode, guys. Make sure you drop the video a like. My name is Welsh Dragon DSG. Follow me on Twitter. We're on 10 points, but we're closing down. I'll see you next time. Bye.